Hey guys, welcome back. This is Jose, the California Beekeeper. So today we are going to drop our truck off over here to Precision Welding here in Orville, California. So this is where we're gonna take off. We're gonna convert it into a little rancher style flatbed. Um, we brought it with us a pallet and the reason why we brought the pallet is because if we are gonna haul any types of pallets um, on our flatbed I want to make sure that my that my rings and hooks are aligned where I want them to so I brought over a pallet and this is something that you could do probably at your local um, welding shop or or uh, wh whoever fabricates your flatbeds. Um, it's good just to take your either your boxes or your pallet sizes if you plan on hauling um, bee pallets on your flatbeds. So, I mean, this is not an official bee truck. Um, we just are converting it just because it's gonna be a whole lot easier for our operation as we grow. So, if you are in the market um, but can't afford a dually, you know, an, $80,000 um, flatbed um, this is a good alternative um, until you get there so this is why we're going this route just be much more efficient for us um, being smaller commercial outfit and we do a lot of queen rearing so uh, for our bee breeding program this will be great we can utilize it for what we do so this is what it looks like now again Precision Welding, Orville, California. If you are in the area and you are looking for something, it's a great place. Um, we always hear good things about these people and uh, they customize the things that you need. If you need smoker boxes, hooks, whatever it is, um, it's good to go. So, hey. The reason why we're removing this is just because we're preparing the truck to get converted into a flatbed, these auxiliary tanks. They tie into your other main tank and whatever it is that you drive. Originally what this was installed for was to go nonstop um, delivering bee packages. We had the gooseneck here set up. This was put in. This is a 75 gallon auxiliary tank. Uh, the main tank is a 25 gallon tank and uh, yeah, 100 gallons. Taking it off and uh, no longer need it. And this will be a flatbed. got the flatbed on so now the next step is getting reweighed just so you can convert your pickup truck into a flatbed is what the CHP um, advised us to do so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna hop on the scales get it weighed and then we're gonna take that new weight measurements of the pickup 
over to the DMB and uh, get it switched over to be in a flatbed. Made it to the B yard. It's around six o'clock. We made it a little dusty, but we are here. We brought over eight colonies for now. And uh, some fog down there. Anyway, the truck rode great. Um, no issues at all. Let's unload these girls real quick. It is, uh, man, it's about 38 degrees here right now well you can't see it huh it's cold it's cold let's get it going huh a great flatbed if you're working on a budget you know and you're still trying to get your business going um, don't want to make that jump quite yet um, investing in a regular size flatbed B truck um, so that's why we went ahead and just added this flatbed on here it is a Bradford you know unfortunately we did have a short bed on this truck so the bed is not as long as um, as as I would like um, but it still works so much better than having the um, the regular bed, the truck bed in here. You just maneuvering, working off of that bed is pretty difficult. Find your local dealer for flatbeds. They'll help you out. They'll look at your truck and you guys can go all the details and what you are looking for and what's ideal for you. It's not as wide as your typical B truck, which is okay. You can still haul bees they'll overhang about two and a half to three inches on each side and that's not a big deal as long as you got that runner on top of your bed then you should be good to go um what i like about this is for the future when we do start to grow we wanted to get a flatbed that had a gooseneck implement pretty discreet built in got your uh, safety chain hookups here and uh, yeah I mean you can't beat it for the price nice good-looking headache rack um, you know they did have an option that it came out all the way like so because of the tight room here we ended up going with these rings um, got four rings though go right over the pallets just like so we end up adding some rope hooks right here pretty slick we might get another toolbox here we're not sure it was just gonna be a little pain because of our fuel tank is here got the rope hooks for now we just went every 10 inches um, we might get more all the way in between the existing ones good LED lights so we might add some uh, LED lights here or uh, something back here I'm not we're not sure we're still working on the ideas and uh, what what would make this a little easier I highly recommend 
that if you are going to convert your truck to a flatbed, get yourself some airbags. Airbags, we got the little nipples. We had them put them back here. You know, these, these things are built, built good. Really, really happy with this. And here's our side box. Um, you can't go very big on these. Um, unless you get it custom made, uh, we could have gone a little deeper, but as far as going out, uh, you know, that's getting a little tight. So this is just where we keep our straps. It has a cool little feature. Once you lock it on most, on more uh, handles, if it's locked, you could still kind of almost move it around and it ends up stripping. So this one here, it just keeps spinning. Doesn't strip, doesn't do anything. So uh, that's a cool little feature. All right guys, that is it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, go down below, hit that subscribe button. Give us a big thumbs up on this video. If you don't follow us on Instagram or Facebook, hey, go check us out, California Beekeeper. Good old California beautiful.